Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Friday. I am so excited. I got a really fun bit of book mail that I just had to share with you. I was going to do a Friday Reads and just tell you what I've been reading. That just flew right out the window because this is a billion times better. Although I am, I will tell you, I am reading The Paying Guests by Sarah Waters. I'm reading this on my Kindle. I'm loving this book. I'll tell you more about that another day, um, but I'm, I'm loving it. So <laughs> let's talk about the book mail. <gasps> I was not expecting to get a box of books in the mail. And I opened this package up and I just about exploded. I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show you the books that I got because there's some really, really fun stuff in here. So the first thing is a Mary Roberts Reinhardt, some paperbacks. I, you know, I love my paperbacks. Um, this is The Man in Lower Ten, a novel of romance and suspense. So I am super excited to read this. Then I also got this is Joy in the Morning by Betty Smith, who I own. I own a few of her other books. This is uh, Betty Smith, the uh, Tree Grows in Bo Brooklyn author. And this is one I had not heard of before. It is a radiant novel of marriage and young love. Doesn't that sound fantastic? Very excited about that. And then look at this old paperback edition, an Aramont classic of Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Isn't that cover just oh, amazing? I love, love this. 50 cents, 50 cents. And then A beautiful, sort of hard to see, sorry, it's a little bit glary. Um, this is Gladys Tabor, My Own Cape Cod. So Gladys Tabor is a new discovery of mine. I've been loving her. I recently read her, where is it? Country Chronicle, and I look, oh no! I, I bent the cover back a little bit when I've, shelved it. Meh. Gonna have to put a little cover on that. Um, so <laughs> I got a, my own Cape Cod, which is beautiful, beautiful condition. It looks practically brand new. So I cannot wait to get to this one. And then it just keeps getting better. I mean, look, at these two more vintage Harlequin romances. I am definitely, definitely going to have to start collecting these. I wasn't going to, but I've been loving them ever since I found my beloved Rosamond Pilcher ones. Um, I've been loving these. I got this other one that I read and loved. And now I've got these two. The, um, they are The Other Anne by Carolyn Trench. This was 60 cents. And then Beloved Castaway by Violet Winspear. I mean, these just, look at that. This was 50 cents. Isn't that just beautiful. I, I just love these. I don't know why they, they make me so happy. So I'm very, very excited to pretty much now have a little collection of vintage Harlequins. All right. And then next I've got, <laughs> this is an old Woman's Weekly, a magazine from December 18th, 1982. It was 23p. So this is a British 
magazine, there was a little sticker on the front that said, check page 28. And when I looked at page 28, you guys, there is a short story by Rosamond Bilcher, my favorite. This is called Miss Cameron at Christmas, a reflective short story by Rosamond Pilcher. I mean, look, look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Oh my God. And not only that, but just look at how fun this old magazine is. I'm gonna look through this at the old ads. Oh, look at this, it's a Christmas one. So it's got Christmas recipes. Oh my God, this is just incredible. And then lastly, all right, I saved the best for last because this is a tiny little treasure chest and it is filled with tiny little books. Now, you guys know, for one thing, I love tiny little things. However, not only are these tiny little books, I did have to get out my magnifying glass to look. This is Persuasion by Jane Austen. It has, you guys, I don't think you're gonna be able to see this, but it actually has writing and illustrations in it. So not only did I get a treasure chest full of tiny little books, but I got my favorite books. I got Persuasion. I got, oh my God. But it's all six Jane Austen. So I got Pride and Prejudice. I got <laughs> a tiny little Mansfield Park. And they've all got writing and, and illustrations inside. A tiny little Northanger Abbey. I, I, a tiny little Pride and Prejudice. I, I, you guys, I just, I am dying with the cuteness. And tiny little Sense and Sensibility. So I got the entire Jane Austen collection. I also got... The Wind in the Willows, one of my all-time favorite books, and The Lord of the Rings. We got um, <laughs> The Fellowship of the Ring. We got <laughs> The Two Towers. I, you guys, I know you can't really see that, but it is just... And then... Uh, the Lord of the Rings. I, I just, I'm dying with the cuteness of these. It's the tiniest little, I see if I can get these, um, in a little stack. I, oh, are, are these not the cutest little things you have ever seen? Wait, here we go. <laughs> I love these. I have got, I've got like the happiest little feeling in my heart right now. These make me so happy. So anyway, I just, I could not wait to share these with you because they are so cute. Um, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. I do want to talk to you about some more things because I do want to tell you what I've been reading and I'm going on vacation on Monday and I would like to also tell you what I'm taking with me, what books I'm taking with me. So hopefully I will have some time to um, record some videos tomorrow and maybe Sunday with, with those updates. But um, if not, I will just leave you with this. <laughs> Bye.